guys. Welcome back to the Past Money Plan. My name is Alex. We have a guest on the show. Anderson Kirby is over there. Uh, Anderson, welcome. Thank you for coming on. Um, I personally work with Anderson and um, looking forward to hearing his story. Um, he's someone else that is very knowledgeable on the finance space. So glad to have you on. Thank you for coming. Thank you, guys. It's a pleasure to be here. I say hello for everybody, the people who was watching us. And I hope I can help a little bit, a lot of people today. Great, great. Oh, sounds great. good. Sounds good. So, Anderson, we're going to start it off right. So, tell us what you do. Um, you know, I know you're in a couple different spaces out there. So, I'll leave the floor open for you. What? So, what are you indulged in as far as, you know, the business front? Well, I have like a three different uh, operations right now. I have my truck business, like the way I met Alex. He's a very good supervisor and manager. Very honest, very straight. I like that. And uh, I'm very appreciate for what he has done for me and helped me with a lot of things. Even when we commit mistakes, he still wants it. <laughs> and uh, I have uh, my real estate a business also. And I have another engineering that I work for. I work I work with uh, lubrication engineering. That's all three 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 things I work in together at once. Okay. So um with that, uh I'm gonna leave the engineering part alone because that's too big for my brain space. But uh, so for the <laughs> for the for the real estate and trucking, so all right, so starting off with real estate, where where are you located at as far as your real estate? Well, my real estate, I'm start doing, I'm, I'm like a, I'm an immigrant here. I came in America in 1999 with uh, no English. I still, I still have a broken English, but I think you guys can understand me, but <laughs> I'm still <laughs> learning. <laughs> but uh, I came here with no English. Um, I have some money in a pocket, like a $600. And the first thing I did, uh, I was I was living with my cousin, and I started to see it. My first job actually was uh, working a car wash, and and I and I met a guy there, and this guy was one of one, I think like a father for me, because he saw I think he looked at me and saw some potential, and he start investing myself. And he, that guy has a, like a body shop, like a car body shop. Mm -hmm. And he was watching me working and he said, this guy is different. And he came to me speaking English. And I, I, I was telling, I know English, no English. And he said, what language do we speak? And no English, no English. <laughs> and he said, Spanish. I said, no Spanish, Portuguese. He said, Oh, você fala português. And the guy was Brazilian. That was a very constant, kind of like a, you know, one of those days something happened. And this mm -hmm. guy took me to work in his shop. And when I start working in his shop, he start making me question. What are you doing here? What is your dreams? Where do you want to go? I say, man, you make it very hard questions, but I think I, I want to grow. I want to be here. I want to grow up my family here. And I was like a 20 years old. Mm -hmm. And this guy gives me a lot of like like a uh, base stuff that's making me grow a lot because after after I start work for him for like a two years I worked for him for two years and I took my CDL because I was a I grow up in truck business in Brazil and one thing he told me was very very like a markful for me was he say you have to do what you like to do you have to be in love what you do because when you are in love and what you do that's the way you grow you prosper because you put your energy automatic on the on that thing it's not a weight on your back it's something mm -hmm. just flow and that's the thing i care it's one of the things he told me but the most important one was was uh, another thing he told me. He said, Anderson, everything you do, do with your best, like through the Lord. 
because he was Christian. Right. And and I say, okay, but I'm 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 already have that on because my father teach me that. And he told me that's why I, I, I pick you because I saw how you work. And that's natural on you. And I say, yeah, okay, that's great. And that's how I stopped growing. And after six months, I bought my first property. We, we was in Pomp in a, in, in Broward County area. And six months after I bought my second property, and I think a year after I refinanced one of the properties, the first one I bought it, and I bought my third one. And exactly. in 2004, I was I was with five properties in 2004 when I got married. And all ran out and the money was covering the mortgage and make that work out. And I got married in 2004. And when you have the recession going back, up to like a 2008, 2009, I almost, I lost everything because I was on the bank, but I was able, I have a good lawyer and that's was helped me a lot because I was desperate because I want, I was, my, my debits was like over a million dollars on all the properties. Mm -hmm. And I went to a lawyer, very nice guy, very honest guy. And he, he told me one thing, like uh, open my eyes. And he say, Anderson, how long you be in America? I say, 10 or 12 years. And he told me, do you know you already hit the American dream? I say, I don't think so. That's not a dream for me. I want a million dollars. That's not a dream for me. <laughs> I couldn't see it. Right, because right. He, 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 and he say, Anderson, you right there. You just need a good lawyer. And I think with me, man, this is going to be cost me a lot of money. <laughs> right. And I told him, dude, that's going to be cost me a lot of money. How much? He said, don't worry about it. And I start making payments, very reasonable payments monthly to this guy. And he start, he, he take care of all my, my properties without a foreclosure. And, uh, and, uh, and he was giving me some tips to how guide my money because I will be on a bankruptcy like a for, for like a few years in advance and he was teaching me everything and he, he, he guide me for the path and when I have my bankruptcy done finished with the certificate letter clean um, my credit was zero but I have I have some money I saved during that period and I was able to buy three proper two properties of uh, uh, paying cash. Right. And I right. and I start over again. That means I use the 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 the, the problem, the, the the to create a solution. And this guy helped me to get that solution. And after that, I, I went to a, a a mechanical school. That was my second dream. My first dream is a truck driver all the time. But my, my mm. second one was a mechanic. That's when I, I get through a, through a lubrication. And I started doing, I, I have my certified, I'm motorcycle mechanic. And, uh, and I was preparing engines for race. And uh, the big problem I have in the engines was the lubrication. It's not enough, always creating heat. And I, and I, I figured out something, cure that. And it's very successful, but it's it's like you say, it's too deep to go to that direction. <laughs> right. <laughs> and after that, uh, I work for my, I have my own shop for about, I got to say, six, seven years. Right. And I start getting tired to deal with people. It's very hard, especially on the, on the shop. Special people like they want to race, but they don't want to expend money. And I say, you know what? Let me open a cell phone store. And I went to Apple, make like certify myself on Apple computers, Apple cell phones back in as, as soon as they launched the iPhone 4. And I was the first store in Broward County to iPhone repair. And I have uh, my Ultra iPhone repair. It was the name of my store. And I wasn't there for, I have a, I grow on that business. I, I have, 
I grow in, in three stores. I have a three stores. Yep. One in, in one their field, one in Boca, and another in Sample, one in Pompano. But I grow in that business too. I make some money. And I still all the times invest in real estate. And I bought another property. And mm -hmm. I have the third one. And and after everything going on, uh, they have some issues like insurance because I was my big business was computer repair and phone repair. And when AT AT T Mobile and and um and Verizon they start like a uh, obligate force you to put insurance, my my business just crashed, yeah. and I have to shut down. And I start being employee again after thirteen years, and I was a manager on a construction uh, industrial metal cons uh, business. I was a manager there for like a six months and COVID hit us and they fired me. This is back in 2020. Yeah, 19 to 20, around that. And I was home, unemployed and thinking, what I gonna do? <laughs> I was sitting on the sofa and everything started coming up in my mind from like 1999. I have to do what I, what I, love to do it and uh and the funny thing is when i took my cdl in 2001 uh, the first place i work was was where me and alex work today it's back in 2001 right. and uh and i called one of my friends the guy i work for for him and that time like i was i was not talking to him like a uh, years and that guy was a father for me too because Today I am a citizenship because of this guy, and I'm very thankful for him. Uh, Alex know him as De Freitas. Mm. De Freitas was the guy mm. applied for my citizenship back in 2001, and I have my my. It's he's a, like a father for me. I didn't know. And that. I have a, like a lot of. I think my my the good thing is uh, when you when you involve with good people, good energy. Everything goes well. Like like my like like our father, I think my father say that a lot. Uh if you tell me who you who you walk with, I will tell you who you are. Yeah. You tell me your friends, I'll show you your features. Exactly. Yeah. It's exactly the same mm -hmm. thing. And every mm -hmm. everybody I I get close to me, what I get close to them, they was able to helped me a lot right. and of course on a, on this on this travel i say a travel we get a bad people we get a bad 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 intention people go near to you but and they sometimes they they hit us and they hurt us but i try to delete that from my memory because when you when you care a negative mind that's no good because you you cannot grow you cannot like uh, go forward because that hold you down. It's like a same thing when you're afraid to do something and you let the the the, the fear controls you. It's about the same thing. You cannot be afraid. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. you have to go forward. And sometimes I lose money too, but I not put in my mind I lose money. I pay for learn. Yeah. You pay for education. I never I never I never say to myself I lose because I'm not a loser. I never say, man, I lose that money. No, 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 no. I pay for learn. I'm not gonna do that again. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and that's because that's a command. That's the things you give to your mind. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, and yeah, my ahead, philosophy buddy. is my philosophy is there's wins and lessons. I don't ever count them as losses. Uh there's wins and lessons. But with Alex, Alex, I know you got a question. Go ahead. Oh no, I'm I I'm learning a lot about Anderson. Geez, I didn't know you had a <laughs> phone business and uh, the story with. Uh, he was a serial hustler. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just keep going on go. Um, no, I I mean one of uh I didn't want to cut you off. I didn't know if you had more to say, Anderson. Uh, sure. But uh, one of the questions that I do have for you is uh, I'm curious on what your philosophy is, uh, with money, or what with philosophy? money with money well 
I don't put my whole whore on money. I don't like to like a worship money. I don't do that. My philosophy about money, money have to work for me. I think that's the main thing you have to put in your brain. And I, I don't work for money. Money for me, it's like a, how I got to say that, like a reward for what do I do? Because when you put money in the first place, um, it's hard because you become a little bit arrogant. You ch the, because the money can change you, you know? M money can change people. And if you don't have control on, on that thing, money can change you. And, uh, and the funny thing is, like, uh, if the person is very arrogant and he get more money, the 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 the, the frequency the tendency to, to, to that person will be more arrogant you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. but if if the person is kind and 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 nice and polite when that person get more money they 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 naturally they come more polite more kind more helpful you know i i'm think that way that's i think is my philosophy mm -hmm. and and with that most a lot of people always say Money changes people. Money doesn't change people. Money just accentuate who you really are. That's exactly. all it does. Exactly. Yeah, that's all it does. Yeah. Yeah. So exactly. if you was, if you was an asshole when you was broke, you're just a bigger asshole because you got money. If you're exactly. a good guy when you was broke, you're just a good guy with money. Yeah. Yep. That's yeah. True. I agree that's with that. So and and that's part of like the, the the go ahead. Go ahead. No, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> that's like uh, the way that's that that the way you grow up like the fathers like when you have a good father good mom good base on a family and they teach all the principles it's it's easy to 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 administrate that but anyway for anyone if you want to change you can change you know you know what i'm saying if you if you want to if you see i'm doing that bad and if you start working on that thing a little bit, a little bit, you can change the personality. It's it's not a big deal. Just the person that want, they have to want to. I have seen people change change personality, mm -hmm. but it's not it's not easy. Right now, Anderson, with that as well. Um, so you said you began thinking this way um, in two thousand and. Uh, was it 2008 or two, or before 2008 actually 2001 around when you be when you came to this country or when you came to um when i came to this country it was in 2000, 1999 1999 in 2001 i have my cdl that's when i start for the freighters but i'm i'm the first thing i got here i see that rent was very expensive and and when I when I met uh the, the the my first boss, he was Spanish, and he's the one teaching me Spanish also. <laughs> okay, okay. And uh and uh uh and uh, he say he was saying I have to buy a house, and I bought a house. We, uh, I actually, on 1999, I wasn't I wasn't with a tourist tourist visa, like a B two visa. But I went to Mississippi to take my social security. And uh and I went to there, they give my social security. That means I was illegal, but not a hundred percent illegal. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> right. And I, I was able to work. And I was and I pay my when I when I did my citizenship, I show up my 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 tax from 1999. And that guy say. I never seen that. I say, man, I've been here from 99. When I get my social security, every year I was paying my tax. Right. And, and the guy was very yeah. impressed. And uh and it's 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 I just want to make a completion of that. Go ahead, Alex. <laughs> Sorry. No, 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 that. Uh, that no, that was that was it. Um, Kirby, did you? I, I got a couple more questions. I don't know if you got something though that you can ask him. Uh, I got a question for you. So you're in you're in the real estate. You're more in the southeast part of Florida. 
So what is your exactly. what is your goal? What are you trying to get to when it comes to real estate? How many properties do you want to eventually accumulate? Uh, my goal, it's at least like a uh, fifteen properties. I want to go through that. Do you think because or 15? I'm already forty five years old? Fifteen, fifteen properties. I think is gonna be okay for my retirement. And leave my 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 generation, my next generation, a very comfortable zone. But I'm I the time's clicking, and that's why I'm rushed because I'm already forty five, mm -hmm. and I have another more ten years, maybe good fifteen years to do that. And and the my and the I think the good thing is the motivation. What what is keep me motivated? It's my kids. That's uh because when I see they growing, they they one of the best students in school. That's give me a lot of motivation. Mm -hmm. And see my wife happy. I think my family. It's the most like a previous like like the they 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 supposed to be being here. Tell tell about me, you know. Because they are a big support on my 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 side. Mm -hmm. I think for the I, people I, watching us, the one of the bases is family. Family is everything, and everything you do with your partner, even with women, or wife, or uh, women or men, uh, you have to be share the dreams, and share where you want to go, and you have to celebrate every step you conquer. And you have to celebrate because that make, make your motivation up. And uh, that's the one thing I think is it's very, very important. And like, I mean, I have this conversation with Alex and I have conversations with other people. Um, when it comes to the, the concept of money and like you, you said, it, you said it best. Um, money is just keeping score. We work hard and we put in the work every day. Because we want better. The money, the money that we make from it is just how other people keep score. But for us, we're still going to live our normal everyday life. And then the money is just a reward or or whatever for the work that we put in. And then so everybody, when they see the, you know, what you're doing and the money is generating, it's they're thinking of, hey, what can you buy? But you know, entrepreneurs, they're thinking of how can they leave a legacy, you know, way after we're gone. You know, I always, you know, talk to Alex and say, you know, I have this huge picture of me and my wife on there. And my only my only wishes is that that picture goes into everybody's house in my family to say, hey, we started this so y'all can benefit years and years later. So we're putting in the hard work. And that's what it's all about. It's not about the Lamborghinis. It's not about the, you know, and all that. Other stuff. It's not about none of that stuff. It's about so. Our families don't have to go through the same struggles that, you know, you had to go through working at a car wash and, you know, doing all this other stuff. It's we're trying to set a foundation so they don't have to go through the same struggles that we have. But people don't get it. Everybody's so, you know, instant microwave society. Oh, I'm just here to take care of myself. But why did you have kids if it's not about leaving them in a way better place than you were when you started? out? So I, li yeah, I like that I point right there. Yeah, I take I took six years uh, of my marriage. My first six years, I was consolidate my marriage, make sure everything's gonna be okay. Uh, let's and when I get to that point, I say now is the time to have a baby. And my first kid right. come with after six years of marriage, mm -hmm. Good. and I wait another nine years to get the that to make sure I get the second one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I, because, I, I waited. Me and my wife, we waited eight years before the first one. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I like it because that's the way you can plan. Because when you put a kids on this world, you know it's not easy. Change exactly. everything. It's it's uh, the responsibility, the time in consuming, everything change. Even travel, you cannot travel if the the kids on school. Mm -hmm. and, and when you travel on a on a on a vacation, everything is more expensive. <laughs> way more expensive. Way more expensive. And, the, and you, you, made, you made a good point because 
you know, you you gave that six years so you and your wife can get all the, you know, you time out of the way. Because once the kid shows up, it's 100% about the kid. We didn't, once as a parent, you give up your life so your kid can be in the situation. I mean, like I have That's friends right. and family and stuff like that. They'd be like, oh, why don't you just find babysitters so y'all can go out and do whatever y'all want to do? It doesn't work well, like that. Why, why do we have a kid if we're going to do that? When yep. you have a kid, it's all right. We, we've done everything that we need to do. Now it's all about putting all our time, energy, and effort into the kid so they can continue what we're trying to build. So I like it. I like yep. it a lot. Alex? Yeah. Uh, no, I'm just listening. Me without kids trying to take advice. <laughs> so, uh, um, Anderson, the next question I have for you is, uh, what was your first investment in what field? Was it was it the real estate? Was it trucking? Was it the engineering? What was your first investment? My first in investment was in myself. Okay. And my my mind, but talking about uh. Um, those options you say, like I, I did, was real estate. Yeah, okay. that's the uh, I was because my first real estate I bought in two thousand. That means I was uh, actually December was twenty fourth of December, nineteen ninety nine. No, two thousand was turning two thousand one. Yeah. After one year and six months, I was in America. Okay. So I, I love it. I because this, I, sorry, go ahead, Kirby. Go ahead. You know, no, no, I, I love it because he's only one year, six six months in America. And these people have been in America 50 years and still ain't bought one property yet. <laughs> it's amazing. That's, that's the amazing thing. But go ahead, Alex. That's sorry. Standard. Um, no, um, so I hear this, I hear that. Uh, statement a lot uh, investing in yourself uh, so in what way uh, can you share with us that you did uh, invest in yourself uh, mentally okay. I think it's the most important Mental, mentally physically because okay. you need health to do the, the, the things and you have to be is smart and take the right decisions on the right time that sometimes is hard for a lot of people they don't know how to take decisions because always in our life you work you you, you walk into a and that path has a two ways to go sometimes three and you have to choose one you have and sometimes if you choose the wrong one you lose time lose money and of course, uh, I'm I'm a believer, and always when I want that position, I take a time, pray, <laughs> look around, and step on it. And right. ninety nine percent is working, it, but it's not everything. About faith is very important. Very important. You have a faith, but. The decisions you have to take, it's 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 on you. You cannot say, God, you guide me to here. You know what I'm saying? No, no, no. It doesn't work like that. You have to decide on yourself. Because when I say mentally, uh, mentally you have to keep your brain positive all the time. And if you start thinking negative, just walk away from that thought and go back positive. You have to take the positive on every situation and focus on that because my positive mind bring positive life. Mm -hmm. And for people who are beginning right now, my advertising for them is my, my, what I say by like, if I want to start over again, it will be wonderful with the experience I have today with 18 years right. old, man, I was <laughs> flying. <laughs> Right. But the thing is, uh, just watch what the people you walk with and try to involve with people bigger than you, not smaller than you. Because people is more than you, it's going to be only for you help. That's how I do. Like if I involve in people, 
like uh is more than me like uh, a knowledge not not degrade them just people a lot of people doesn't have a lot of knowledge they don't look for a knowledge they don't care about a knowledge they, they, they just live their life and i okay with that it's they 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 can decide that but if they ask me for help i will help for sure with no doubts and if they want to listen what I say or not listen, it's between them. You know what I'm saying? And and that's that's what I do. That's what I do. I keep my mind positive. When I have a, the good thing, my job, uh, I have a lot of free time. And I like to hear books like uh, people talking about real estate, people talking about investments some uh, uh marketing i like to hear that but i have some favorite books i want to mention here if you want to grow like uh, you guys is watching us i know it's gonna be hit the 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 the, 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 the why you're doing this is because we want to help other people and i love that i love helping other people because when you share something you learn you 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 want to be you gotta be wind like a double on a feature because you share a knowledge and that's very grateful. It's like thankful for who shares. And what I, what I'd say to people, it's uh, they have to, to read the few books. Like uh, it's a very old book. It's, they call a, a millionaire mind think and grow, uh, think and grow rich. This book was wrote in 1930s, but he give a lot of ways for you reprogram your brain because sometimes we learn something doesn't work you know what i'm saying our fathers teach something to us and on the a, on a end of the day you gotta say man that was wrong this is too old now it's a different it's not because they don't want to teach you the good things it's about the knowledge and we have to be like a rumble like a rumble enough to just understand and 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 try to to just like uh share the good things with the people help them and it's a it's 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 a knowledge a knowledge it's the key i think it is yeah and i i agree 100 percent. and i i don't want to gloss over something i know for you you know you thought it was not a you know it was just a part of your life but i wanted to bring it up um, another one, like you said, changing the mindset, think and grow rich. This is another one that uh, I don't know if it's going to come up on the screen, but real estate riches. It's another way to change your mindset on real estate. But a part that you said that I didn't want to gloss over is success leave clues. What I mean by success leave clues is like you came you came to America with nothing, six hundred dollars in your pocket. Yep. You. You grew a real estate por portfolio, and I always try to explain to people that because they see risk, they already broke. They see risk and say, okay, well, if it don't work, I'll be broke. You're already broke. Yep. So, so you have nothing to lose. You already know how to survive in this area of being broke. Yep. So taking the risk is the opportunity to get you out of this situation. If it fails then you go back to what you're used to doing anyway. So yep, you're right. you you have all, all the motivation, way more than people that have millions of dollars because now they're scared of risk because they're scared to come back down to a level they know nothing about. But you uh, sitting at a, a level of nothing, you can always drive up and take the risk because you already know how to, how to survive. And that's something that you did when you got here a year and six months, you bought a house, taking a risk. Then you bought more houses, taking a risk. So- Usually people go through bankruptcy like you did and they'll never touch a house again. But you like, yep. okay, I've been here before. Let's go take the risk and go do it again because you know how to survive on that level. And that's yep. something I wanted to uh, point out. But that's what I say. Success leave clues. You talk about how you read books. Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich. I love it. That's, that's one of my favorite books also. But that's what successful people do. They go attain knowledge from other people that's already doing it. You know, well, you probably don't know, but one of my favorite saying is you will be like the five people you hang around. Um, like, like, 
for me, I didn't have people that were successful, so I surrounded myself in, in books like Napoleon Hill and Think and Grow Rich, The Richest Man in Babylon, yep. Robert Kiyosaki. So I immersed myself in those people and kept reading their content, and then I went from broke, heavily in debt, to in the millions. That's how it worked. And But success leaves clues. You just said the same thing that we talk about all the time, and I'm glad you said it because I don't want them to be like, oh, oh, grumpy Kirby, That's the he's the only one that do it. Uh, success leave clues everybody is successful do the same things over and over and over again and that's how they become successful so thank you for pointing that one out yep it's amazing and and today today i'm still a little bit like a it's still i'm still like a paying the price because uh what happened is when i when uh when i when i was uh unemployment let me just finish that story I was sitting on the sofa and I say, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? And I thought I have to do what I love to do. And I say, you know what? I want to become a truck driver again because that was my beginning. And I left that alone. And, uh, and I love to do that. And I called the Freitas, was a, was on a, one of the guys that uh, Alex know. And he said, Anderson, I don't need drive right now. By the way, uh, Luciano Benvenuti still work with me. I say, really? Man, that's been years, man. We're talking about 18 years after. It's a long time. And, uh, and, uh, and this Luciano Benvenuti was the guy who replaced me when I left him. And it's funny, the, the things what happened. And I was able to match a bunch of guys that was not see for a long time. But the friend I saw Anderson, I, uh, I don't need, but I think a Carlos about me. And, and I say, I don't remember Carlos. Yeah, the Spanish guy. I, fly, I don't remember, man. It's 18 years ago. And I went there and met this guy. Very nice guy. And uh, I say, dude, this, this is a very nice guy. And trust him. I say, yeah, this is, he's, he's, he's in a company longer than me. I say, okay, I work for him. No problem. And uh, the funny thing is, I was not driving a truck for 18 years, but I still have my CDL. And I make like a few, few, few test runs with, with a, a bot. It's a, a Carlos. And he said, do you sure it was a truck driver? <laughs> I say, yes, but I, I, I can't, I, I don't remember how to do it. It's a long time. Can you give me a few minutes? And I start working on it. And I start remembering, activate. And everything was fine, and and I be approved, and I'm start work for this guy for I work for him for like a two years, and all and uh and and another thing I was in a and I start work with Abad, yeah, nighttime doing a uh Pompano Pompano Lakeland, and I was living in Broward County, and and the funny thing is, uh, I have some free time during the day, uh. I don't like to be like a what, sit down and do nothing, you know. I like to be productive. I like to when when I ended the day, lay down on a, on a, on, a, on my pillow and think what I did. Oh, I did this, 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 this. Yeah, I'm the man. I'm good. I'm feel good. I'm being productive because that help you to keep you positive and help you to when you sleep. You you create more motivation for the next day. You have to focus on the positive things, not on the negative things. Exactly. And going back to the job, I was working at night, and and I found a, a shop, mechanical shop. So I'm working on it, and I was working day and night for two years. And I never miss one day of work on none of those. I was working like a 7, 7 p.m. to 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning. Go home, sleep until 11.30. Wake up, have my lunch, and start another job 12 to 6. Monday to Monday. I have off Saturdays. And now I have off Sundays on a mechanic shop, right. but on a on a truck, no, straight. And one day I came to 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 Carlos and say, Carlos, uh, I want to move to Orlando, 
and I open my my mechanical shop up there again. And Carlos said to me, "No, I don't think you're gonna do that." I say, "No, man, I, 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 I it's horror, man. I'm working two jobs for two years. I'm getting tired. No vacation." And I know, Anderson, you're too good to be on that. You need a contractor. You have to work for for the company. I say, ah, you have to work for the company. You're too good. I say, do. I don't know what you're talking about, man. I'm just doing my job. And I I was impressed because he say things to me I I never thought about it, you know. And uh, and I just say, okay. I changed my mind. I will get a contract, but I don't know how to do it. And say, don't worry about it. I do for you. And I was like a very thankful. And I know he gotta be watched this this probably broadcast. And uh and I wanna leave here for everybody. I'm very thankful what he, he did for me. It's like a, like I say, when you beside of good people, good things happen. And that's helped you to to grow. Because a lot of things, it's I think this way. I know things probably you and Alex doesn't know, but you guys know things I don't know. It's like an exchange. But the problem on this, it's it's a lot of people, they think on his mind, they know everything. Yeah. And they become arrogant, you know. They don't listen. They just go and do it, and they crash on, on forward because they they don't wanna they don't wanna share information, they don't wanna think and help it help each other. They wanna think and and they selves like a selfishness, you know. It's this is this is just for the completion, and the and the funny thing is when I get my contract, I bought a house in 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 Okoye, Orlando. Near to a popka yard. That's where I gotta work, right? And I move up here with my family, everybody happy, Disney World, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> and my kids was like uh uh living the dream. And that's when the the, 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 the the problem starts because my house catching fire with two weeks I move in. Oh, wow. With a battery charge. After and I'm, I have to move, I have to buy an RV and move my family to an RV behind of the my property. And then on top of that, <laughs> on top had, of that, Alex is telling <laughs> We had to switch him from starting in Orlando to Lakeland because we didn't have any more spots available. So he had to make the commute to Lakeland. So yeah. Homeless. And I only see my family on the weekends. And I start thinking, thinking, thinking. I said, you know what? I gotta buy an apartment here. Why am I sleeping on a, on a truck? And I bought an apartment there. And I saw the opportunity to rent the rooms. And I rent I rent to the room for co-workers. They new guys start contract with the same company we work for. And hey. I just pay off my own, my own, my own like expenses here. I like that. <laughs> that means a bad thing helps to like uh you go forward. You know those like uh when something bad happened and at the end of the day that become a good. And I was able to actually actually when I moved to Lakeland, I was able to be more present to the company. And and overflow like a more like a when they need it, because when I start from from Orlando, I only can do just Orlando and the other road. I can, I'm I'm blocking that, and I I'm feel very thankful to be to be there. I didn't take that like a negative point. It was hard in the beginning, but we just working on and and adjust myself. And I ending by another property and and. Another apartment here in 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 Okoy also, because I wanted the the construction is still going on. It's it, they probably in another six months more. That me already one year and three months on the construction because insurance, all those kind of stuff. And I was able to buy another apartment here and put my family on it. That means I grow probably 
sixty percent or more in the last two years. That's a good number. Yeah, that's a great number. Very good. Kirby, you had something? No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Well, my the last question I've got for you, Anderson, is uh simply what goals do you have for next year? Next year? Yes. I wanna buy a I want to move my family to Lakeland. And I want to buy a house up there and rent everything rest. Okay. That's my goal. But I'm still I'm still waiting in school. Maybe it's not going to be next year. Maybe follow year. But I focus and work to that direction. Because the one thing, I love what I do. I don't I don't have doubts about it. I like to drive. I like to, to be helpful. I like to be in a position people can count on me. And and, and that's me. That's I think uh, that's the resume of, <laughs> of everything, you know. It's it's funny because I'm talking to my boss, you know, look like <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, no, no. no. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, it's funny, man. Uh, don't look at it that way. No, we we uh. Okay. I'm, I'm glad we could uh bring you on because, like you said, our goal on this channel is to just spread knowledge and show everyone that anybody can do it. Um, you know that's yeah, a great story. Everybody can do it. From being. You, you know, have just to be. It. Yep. You have to be just have determination. Make sure what you're doing, you love to doing, and focus, focus, and do not expand more. You make, make sure that happen. Yeah. If you yep. make a Every thousand, don't too. don't <laughs> burn nine hundred ninety five dollars. No, you have to try to live tight to start save a little by little. Exactly. And and um and another thing, I think it's it's like a my point of view. Not for everyone, but a lot of people, they are addic addictive, like uh, cigarettes, drinks, these kind of stuff. Is, if you make the mathematic, for example, if you will addict and smoke, I don't know how much a packet of cigarette now, like a eight, nine dollars, maybe something like that. Mm -hmm. And if you smoke uh, eight, nine dollars a day, and if you make the calculation, on the end of the year, you burn a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm my my concern is for people get an addiction to work on that. Because that's it's just like a money consuming. It it's is. things working on it, you can we can fix it and save a lot of money. That's uh that's uh, one big thing I think on with me. Like if some that's the first question I do with some of my friends. Do you do this? Do you do that? How you do with your money, man? How you expand your money? What do you have for fun? You know, right. we can have fun, you can enjoy life, save you money. Money. Because on the end of the day, you have the money to enjoy the life. You know what I'm saying? I like it. I like it. Right. All right, guys. Thank you for uh, watching. Thank you for coming on, Anderson. Um, and uh, guys, don't forget to hit the like button. Leave a comment if you have a question for Anderson. I can always ask him and get him to respond, maybe. Uh, <laughs> sure. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and we'll see you guys in the next video.